Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eric Lima here. Well, I'm presenting to you another episode of TPL, episode 745, ladies and gentlemen. Taking a break from playing the Flash game shows, as I've been doing. You know, I'm having a lot of fun playing them, and uh, a lot of things have went down, a lot of good things. A lot of tough things went down, but that's all right, though. It's been a tough, tough winter for me. It's been tough from the get-go. I mean, it's been tough from Jump Street, because, you know, with uh, with me being sick, the... Uh, in like in the middle of December, around Christmas time, you know, getting, you know, you know, dealing with uh, a couple of blizzards um, and dealing with the uh, storms that turn out to be not, which caused me to go nuts psychologically and everything else, being in negative mood, bad attitude, and it's not right. It is not right of me to be that way. And I'm, so, like, you know, I thought to myself, I better get, get a vacation down or else I'm not going to be able to survive long you know so um, that's what I want to do you know that's why I did so next week I'll be on vacation after tomorrow at 12 o'clock that's when Ninja Steel comes on all right so I'm really excited about that and have a lot of things to get to a lot of ground to cover um, today's payday so I went out and after I got my money I headed up to FYE and guess what ladies and gentlemen I wear my Bootios t-shirt. You think you, you must have guessed? Eh, you bought yourself a box, another box of Bootios, right? Right. But it ain't an ordinary box of Bootios. Trust me on this one. Check it out. Look at the size of this box. You may you may think in your eyes it's a regular box. No. Look what it says at the top right corner. Big old box of Bootios cereal. And I mean a big old box of Bootios cereal. That's right. I got milk in the fridge. And I'm telling you what, I'm excited. So, so I decided, well, I'll get myself a voucher of Budio cereal. The Budio cereal will last me um, about a couple of weeks or something like that. It'll probably last me all week. I'm going to be vacationing. I'll be eating, getting up and eating this for breakfast while checking out the internet and such. And look in the back. It has the picture of the New Day doing their thing. And these were when they were they were the longest reigning tag team champions in WWE history. There's the New Day. And in the back here, it'll teach you how to dance like Big E. I'll tell you what, I'm really excited. So it's just it's just very it's been an exciting day. And also I bought another uh I got a mix and burn. I don't think I did one last year, I don't think. I better check my I got a lot of mix and burn CDs in there. Um oh we've got some big news. We got some major news that I wanna lay it down to you. Now originally I said that Kmart was closing April the sixth according to some reports. Um the Kmart and for Haven will be um according to local reports that Kmart and Fairhaven was closing April the 6th. Well, Kmart and Fairhaven has changed that date up to this Sunday. So if anybody out there in the local in the local near the Bedford Fairhaven, if you love Kmart and you want to shop there for the for the final time, you better do it now. Because after Sunday, it's gone. Rest in peace. The final Kmart in the South Coast. Rest in peace. The first one that went was the one in Dartmouth across the street from the mall. And then the second was Harbor Mall. Which was demolished after uh, the one in Harbor Mall after it was demolished, and finally this one in Fairhaven. So it'll, it'll be tough to find a Kmart locally. You know, it's going to be tough to find a Kmart locally. I don't know. If, I know there's one in Attleboro, but I don't know if that one's still open or not. So uh, I don't know if anybody local out there knows that. Let me know because oh, I'm going to have to make a uh, travel down 195 if I have to do so. And i um, probably do that during my vacation if that's the case, but, you know, it could close down too. But the fact of the matter is, is this, is that Kmart in Fairhaven, the last Kmart in South Coast, will be closing after this Sunday. So get it done. You know, it's, the door's going to be open up at 8.30 in the morning. I know a lot of us will go be at church by then, but I'll tell you one thing right now. It is going to be a um, sad day. And uh, I will never forget Kmart, you know, going to the one across the street from the mall, right next to Al Max and Jimmy's Pizza. Um, <clears throat> doing the, uh, you know, usually check out for He-Man toys and Tommy Pocket games while listening to Melissa Manchester's You Should Hear How She Talks About You. That's one of the songs that came, that came ringing in my head and all that. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's a sad, sad day, you know. There's a lot of stores I'm going to miss, and uh, Kmart will be one of them. Kmart was one of my favorite stores. Kmart and Zare were the two big main stores, you know, as far as good Good prices are concerned. Then Walmart comes along, Amazon, you know, eBay, and then you got Sears merging with Kmart. It's eating everything up inside. So, 
what can you do, right? And uh, let's see, what else is there I want to talk about? Uh, that's right. Um, look, congratulations to the U.S. Uh, baseball, USA baseball team. They won the uh, World Baseball Classic. They are the champions of World Baseball. So congratulations to Team USA. Go all the way. And um, <clears throat> Tom Brady's jersey has been found. Yay! But why? They think that could, could Tom Brady's jersey be like have mutant powers or something like that? They're trying to find. I, I, I bet you two to one, they're trying to find a way that Tom Brady and the Patriots have cheated. So many times. Let it go already. We won the Super Bowl. God, people. Move on with your lives. If you're too obsessed with the fact that you think the Patriots still cheated, you need a life. You need to get a life, people. Hello? 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 Come on, people. Wake up. The Patriots never cheated. All right, but they decide to take the penalties to avoid all other media scrutiny. Because the stupid media outside New England, they're a bunch of idiots. They just made the list. Appa. You know? Oh, I think I, I don't know if I showed you this, but I got a couple of games from the, uh, I got, I got a couple of games from the, uh, from eBay, of course, Sega Saturn Imports. I got the, uh, Waku Waku 7. And Galaxy Fights. And uh, they were huge. Um, they, were, they were huge for the Neo Geo collection and all. So I, I'm just, you know, I think I'll let you guys know what's up. And uh, let's see. Here we go. So, yep. The cool thing about my Sega Saturn, I got the um, action replay thing that will be able to make me be able to play all, every single Japanese and American games. I'm excited. Very excited. I got a Japanese PlayStation 2. I'm getting stickers in. I'm going to decorate my modern Xbox. And we're going to get ready to go. I, I can't wait. I am a, a retro gamer at heart. I love retro gaming. And it's the way to do it, folks. Yeah, baby. I'll tell you one thing right now. Um, let's see. What else is on the docket? I'm, I'm trying to think about what's been going on. Oh, boy. Plus, I got new desks. I do everything. And just, it's, it's, Vacations next week. I can't wait. Wow, gonna be a lot of stuff. I know. Uh, I'm, I'm glad the winter's over. The winter season's over. Spring season has arrived. Even though Mother Nature has not gone quite around it, a little bit cold. I can take the cold, no problem. It's it's the cold. The cold, that's fine. It, it's cold, burr, freezing. It's only in the 40s. No big deal. It'll, it'll, the temperatures will, gradu will, will gradually uh, increase a little bit as time goes by. I'm taking baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Um. Can't wait for the spring and summer. You get the Family Fun Festival. Now increase to four days, and it'll be 11 to 9. Thanks to Police Chief Joseph Cordero. I want to thank you, sir. We salute you. We're proud of the new police chief. And I'm sure in the back of his mind, he was thinking, I got to get this Family Fun Festival back to, to the prominence of the Whalen City the, the Whalen City Festival once had. We'll have a new version of the Whalen City Festival known as the Family Fun Festival. I'm really excited about that. I am excited about it. Also, the Portuguese feast coming up. Like, it's a four-day uh, fair, too. I can't wait. I can't wait to uh, see if I can get some time. Uh, can't wait to go down there and uh, run to people, run to old friends I have not seen in quite a while. And they say, Lima, we watch your videos on YouTube. What's going on with it? Well, I you know, and with everything. I said, all right, it's going to be pretty good because the TPL show is off and running as usual. I love it. And so it's it's been uh it's been exciting, and I guess forgive my hair, the way it looks, don't worry. I'm going to rectify that situation tomorrow. I'm getting it cut. You know why? Because I usually grow out my hair for the winter because I want to make sure I don't, you know, catch a cold or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You know? So when tomorrow comes, it's getting cut, and I'll probably do a video on it. On, you know, I'm not going to I'm not gonna go at the barbershop going, hi, everybody. I'm getting my hair cut now. No, that's not Bruce the Bar Beefcake cutting my hair. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to. Do a show from right here at home. It's going to be great. And hopefully, during the spring and summer, I'll do more out and about thing. Uh, out and about versions of the show. That means I'll probably do the show from my car, from everywhere. You know, you never know what's going to happen in life, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it's just, you know, a lot of things have changed. And just, you know, over the years, it's, it's been crazy. It's been very crazy. So, uh, yep. So, Kmart's going to be gone after the weekend's over. And um, I'll be on vacation. So, I'll expect more videos from there. And uh, I'm going to have some fun. So, uh, so yep. So, if you want to know 
Where to get a box, a major box of Bootios. It's about 15 bucks at FYE. Go to your local FYE and get it today. You love New Day. You love Bootios. This is where FYE is the place to be, ladies and gentlemen. Or go on WBShop.com. They have them, too. So, what's the size of this box? Man, can't wait to eat myself a box of Bootios, sir. Eat myself a box. Eat myself a bowl of Bootios cereal. I need to start being positive again, you know? That's what happens. I think I got too negative. I think I, I think I haven't eaten a box of Bootio cereal, and Bootio's makes you go positive. You know, the power of positivity, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so that is the case. So um, so that's it. That's all the time we have on this show. Um, use your heads. Don't do stupid things. And remember, coolness is the essence of a happy person. Love and respect one another. Go eat a box of go eat a bowl of Bootio cereal. And if you and if you're having a bad day, you just grab a pad, you grab a pen, and click, click. You tell that bad day. They just made the list. I'll see you guys later. Uh, episode 746, I'll probably play more uh, Game Show Dude Edition. Then. Or I could start going on the Super K uh, Kid Edition. Who knows for sure what's going on. I don't know. I'm very unpredictable on what I want what I want to talk about. You never know. So see you guys later. You have a wonderful, wonderful day.